mayong unto mga kapaglaong, especially to our avid listeners. Welcome, welcome to our daily devotional entitled, The Faith I Live By. However, don't forget to like and share para daghan ang mapanalanginan sa atong aminsahe karon. And please, click the notification bell to be updated. But before we will start, requesting you to please bow down our heads for our prayer. Our great God and loving Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this great opportunity to study thy words. Help us all to be fully understand the message with your wisdom. Thank you so much, Lord, for everything. Forget and forgive all our sins. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. A living benevolence. Maukini ang atong pagatunan karong takna sa udto. Ug ang atong teksto makita sa Acts chapter 20 verse 35. Ug kini nagaingon. I have showed you all things how that so laboring ye ought to support the weak and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus how he said it is more blessed to give than to receive. We should regard ourselves as stewards of the Lord's property and God as the supreme proprietor to whom we are to render his own when he shall require it. The servants of God should be making their wills every day in good works and liberal offerings to God. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 4, pages 480 and 481. Dying legacies are a miserable substitute for living benevolence. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 4, pages 481. Hoarded wealth is not merely useless. It is a curse. In life, there is a snare to the soul, drawing the affections away from the heavenly treasure. In the great day of God, its witness to unused talents and neglected opportunities will condemn its possessor. He who realizes that his money is a talent from God will use it economically and will feel it a duty to save that he may give. Object Lessons, pages 352. It is utter fully to defer to make a preparation for the future life until nearly the last hour of the present life. It is also a great mistake to defer to answer the claims of God for liberality to his cause until the time comes when you are to shift your stewardship upon others. Those to whom you entrust your talents of means may not do as well with them as you have done. How dare rich men run so great risks? Those who wait till death before they make a disposition of their property surrender it to death rather than to God. In so doing, many are acting directly contrary to the plan of God plainly stated in His Word. If they would do good, they must seize the present golden moments and labor with all their might, as if fearful that they may lose the favorable opportunity. We must all be rich in good works in this life if we would secure the future, immortal life. When the judgment shall sit and the book shall be opened, every man will be rewarded according to his works. Testimonies for the Church, Volume 4, pages 480 and 481. It is our duty to save and to give, and it is better to give than to receive. This is how we must live and show our kindness to others, in accordance to the will of God. To close, to please bow our heads for our prayer. 
their God. Please enable us to demonstrate selfless love towards others. Do not let to seek a selfless opportunities, but help us to care with liberal hearts to others. Help us to be the ambassadors on earth to qualify to receive your heavenly rewards. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. Salamat sa inyong pagpakiguban ka na po ni ining takna sa uddo. Huwag balik na usab kita ugma sa sama nga higayon kay naa na usab kita interested nga mga topic na pagahisgutan. Daghang salamat, bye bye and God bless everyone.